Hi guys, let's make another video about Calamares, actually. So we're on Arcmonix B, Plasma. Been rolling for a while, since the 1st of September, and we're now almost the end of the year. Super F7 is Virtual Box. I got a template that's ready, I'm gonna clone it. And we're just gonna call it video. And inside the video, in this particular thing, close. Choose a disk file. I have a in here a shared core team. This is the very last build a few days ago. And then we're going to boot up and show you what's possible with Calamaris. Now, before maybe I do that, let him run like that. Let's go Control Alt G. If I'm of course inside my own system. Arco Linux, Calamaris, what do you give me? Okay, this one. This is the link you need to know, guys. Everything you need to know about Calamaris. Lots and lots of energy went into explaining how Calamaris works, how we can improve it, how what the magical button is, and cheaparted, erase things, stopping, starting, debugging, you can go over them all. It's all explained, Calamaris, all kinds of situations. And this particular video is about partitioning, if EFI installation with all possible options. I did forgot, forgot that immediately. Ah, so I need to go back and tell that video here, this guy, stop, power off. What did we forget? You decide when you boot up in the system here, VirtualBox, if you're either an old computer, right? An old computer, BIOS, or a UEFI, or an EFI, special uh, OSs only. It stands for Extended Firmware Interface. Okay, so now it's not going to boot up with something nice and graphical. Now it's gonna boot up with three lines. That's UEFI. So, as a reminder guys, take a look here, and the, vo the video I'm gonna create is going to go under here. EFI installation with all possible options, root, root and home, root, home and swap. And that's what we're gonna do. Just this one, the very complex one. Okay, Control F, boot up. So it's great to have this kind of virtual machine, so you can put them on Mac, you can put them on Windows. Try it out before you go for real metal. But remember, whatever you think is, if it's slow or it's sluggish or whatever, it's still a virtual box. It's not the real thing. So the real metal thing, that's what we're concerned about. And if things are not working in virtual box, we couldn't care less in the sense that, guys, it's not the real thing, right? It should work 100% perfectly on real metal. But we get these updates from virtual box and kernels and, and all that and drivers. It's a one, two, three day thing and it's get, uh, we get an update and everything is working, it's working again, right? So I have learned over the years that if there's an issue in virtual box, I just installed on real metal and what do you know, everything works. Then you know, it's just software. So we are working with the very last version from Calamaris 3.2.35.1, okay. Next, so this is the ISO for January 2021, basically. There are some things that we've added. Let's have a look at that, um, them as well. Well, first of all, what we'll have is Discord. Discord will Discord and the flagship anyway, right? Only in the flagship. We will have our ways to communicate with you guys, Telegram and Discord. So it's not on here anymore, which means it's on the ISO. It's there whether you want it or not that's how it works calamaris installs more stuff to your system so you get already this whether you want it or not right it's the flagship arclinx d is the minimal one arclinx b is also a minimal one but with a graphical environment you end in and the d is all scripting okay so that was changed um we've added emacs to it as well and these are all the same. I should add another application here. So there are still a few things on my to-do list to add more 
applications to it. I'm thinking about the name Tau Tauon or something, music player. And indeed, um, GIMP and Inkscape have been added to the others. This already has GIMP, right? Because I always work with GIMP and Inkscape. But um, not the Bs. So the Bs were fixed and the Ds were fixed. So cool, that, that's, that's great, right? Perfection, that's what we strive for, but do not always get, right? So this is only Flameshot. We used to have Discord and Telegram here, but hey, it's already on the system. And we go for what we came for. What we came for is a manual partitioning. Next. Now some of us get this, this thing here, and that's what I call the magic button. If you click here, new partition table, it happens not only in only VirtualBox, right? If you buy an SSD or a hard disk from the store, plug it in, you won't see it. You have to tell, hey guy, um, either be this guy or that guy, be an old computer uh, way or are you going to be a GPT or a UFI? So the thing was, let's make a UFI video, right? So GPT, if you're confused about it, Google it a little bit, also on articlexd.com phase five, there is a distinct um, switch, either you're an old computer, either you're a new computer. And the three lines that you just saw that's the new computer, right? UEFI. Okay, suddenly the magic box, right? Magic button here says, hey, you got something. Free space, 30 gigabyte. And then we create um, what we need to create, right? We need the size, partition type is set. What do you want? First of all, we're gonna create a FAT32 and it's gonna be bootable. And then the size. And on the article on Arclinx B, I say take 500. By experience, we already know that 300 is enough. Going any lower is just ridiculous in my eyes. I mean, why would you go lower with the space we have these days with terabytes of space? What would a, another uh, 200 megabytes, right? What's the return on investment? Nothing. So 300 is good for us. FAT32, no monk point, oops, right? Oops, indeed. Boot EFI, you need to have a mount point somewhere in your system. It's gonna take a look and say, oh, there are files that I can boot up, okay? 300 megabyte, FAT32, boot EFI. Okay, didn't forget anything, but that's, that's one thing. Next thing, free space. Hmm. I could make a root, right? I could make a root. How much root do I want? I don't know. Just arbitrarily choosing some numbers, right? The more packages you install, the more you need. This is root. Of course, not bootable. Okay. So I'm taking around 10 gigabytes of root. Then home. How much home will I give him? Create. Maybe another 10. Again, the numbers are super personal. How many things do you have there? I don't know. How much do you need? So home. This, this, encrypt if you want. That's uh, just another click. And then the free space, which means I have swap. If we wanted swap, this is what I would take. Because these days we have also the possibility to have a um, swap file. So another idea. So Linux swap. So a real partition, a real partition, swap file. Uh, swap uh, partition, I mean. And this is X4, home, everything looks good, right? Everything looks good. So, tuk 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 tuk, four things, and off you go. And if it doesn't complain, you've done your job right. And that's all for me. We're not gonna wait for the installation. Uh, if we pass this particular part, we know all the rest will work fine. So, creating everything, creating new Linux swap partition. Voila, and then it's done, right? You just walk away and wait till everything is unpacked. Everything that's on the system, <clears throat> everything that you see here is now going to be extracted on your future system. And well, if you wanna see that happening, it's always nice. You see here, temp, this is your future system. Yay, this will be your operating system, right? And in here, he's going to do lots of things, you know, 
you don't know where is he working at might be working etc he might see change some things around here i don't know but he's going to write all of it to this particular place which is your ssd or your hard disk and um, that's the video guys let's stop with pointing again to all the knowledge right you might be thinking of another situation it's all here and we've tried to go up here and make a summary of what's all in there right so you click and you just go down and have a look now something is is off with WordPress in the sense that um, there's a been a new update you know how it goes a new update and the template needs to be updated the theme needs to, needs to be updated so we'll see in a few days um, how everything progresses but things will change right updates be patient same as Archlinks. all right cheers